the most wonderful time. Just kidding. Hey guys, Jenna Tro here, your health and hustle expert. It is the most wonderful time of the year, but sometimes leading up to the Christmas dinner and trying to figure out what to make and blah, 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 I'm here to remind you that you gotta add your greens, okay? I am not a baker. I have actually never cooked a turkey in the oven. My husband always does it on the Traeger. Um, Christmas dinner is something that makes me feel a little bit overwhelmed. I'm not a pro at it, I am not gonna lie. But hey, I'm here to learn. I have two little girls and I am willing to learn so I can teach them traditions as they get older. When it comes time to planning a dinner, I'm always, the first thing that I always think of, honestly, is a salad. I'm like, okay, what salad am I gonna make? So I'm here to remind you guys today to not forget your salads for your Christmas dinners. And if you're searching for that perfect salad, this one is delicious. Now I'm going to be featuring our Tupperware spiralizer attachment. I'm gonna be spiralizing some beets and showing you guys. So make sure you guys check out the video to see how I whipped it up. So this recipe is super simple. First, we're gonna start by spiralizing the beets, and then we are going to add them into the Tupperware pressure cooker with some orange juice and some salt placed on top. Then we're going to put the lid on the pressure cooker and microwave it for 10 minutes. While it's cooking, I like to make the dressing. So the dressing calls for some garlic, and I just chop it up using the supersonic compact chopper. You're gonna add some olive oil, some Paradise Valley honey, some red wine vinegar, and not to mention also some of our Dijon mustard, which I store in my squeeze it bottles. Then we're gonna put the lid on, give it some more chops, and voila! It is beautiful. Then now that the beets are ready and I got my salad placed on my clearly elegant bowl, I just add the oranges, walnut, goat cheese, and then I put the beets right on top. Check it out. Okay, so I get this question a lot. How do you clean the Tupperware spiralizer? Well, this is how you clean it. Basically, you take the base right off. That did not get dirty. You screw off the handle. That technically didn't get dirty either, so I just set it aside. You pull out the middle guy, pull out the blade, and this thing will just pop right out and you can just scrub it with a brush. You don't have to take it out, but totally up to you. I just took it out this time. And then I just scrub it with some hot soapy water. Um, th this isn't actually that dirty, but I would just like to kind of rinse it off like that and then put it into our Tupperware dish tray. Um, clean that guy, there we go, oopsies. <laughs> and then scrub the blades, the blades are minimal, they don't get too dirty, just under some hot soapy water. But simple, easy, and well, not that Well, there you guys have dishes. it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys have an awesome holidays over the December. I know the past two years have been absolutely crazy, and sometimes just stepping back and taking this time with your family and your loved ones and getting ready for the new year is an exciting time. So I am wishing you a very, Merry Top Mess or Merry Christmas from your health and hustle expert. And if you really enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys subscribe, okay? Click the subscribe button, subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's gonna be more things coming for you guys in the new year and I can't wait to share with you. Have an amazing holiday, everybody, and Merry Top Mess.